Hey everybody, today we are gonna download and play Detective Pikachu on PC using the Shit Emulator. So let's begin. So first of all we need the Detective Pikachu 3DS ROM. For that we are gonna go to a website named Pokemoner.com. And to make things easier for you I'll give you the link in the description so you just uh, copy the link and paste it in your browser and it will automatically take you to this website and you can find a lot of 3ds roms in this website which is called pokemoner so if you scroll down you will see the uh, detective pikachu screenshot or whatever it is called and you can see this description is given detective pikachu is an adventure game developed by creatures incorporation published by the pokemon company and distributed by nintendo for the nintendo 3ds but you can play it on pc using an emulator which is called Sitra. And we'll get to Citra or Citra, whatever it is called, a little later. First, we're gonna deal with the 3DS ROM, of course. You'll see the screenshot, you can see the trailer, and you'll see the link. If you click on that, it'll take you to a web page very similar to the one we visited earlier. But if you look closely, this is actually a little different, and that difference is if you scroll down. And here, we'll actually find the download links, and there split into three parts we need all the three parts so first we're gonna download the first part by clicking on the link and it will take us to gp share or zip share whatever it is called so you can see the download now button you have to click on it and if you have internet download manager this will pop up if you do not have internet download manager the download will begin automatic on start download and it will take a few seconds because it is a 500 megabytes files you need a pretty fast internet connection about one megabyte or it may take up to a few minutes but just keep your patience and eventually the download will be completed now we are gonna download the second part so go back to the website and click on the second part and then it will take you back to zipisher and then click on the download now button once again and the download will begin automatically as well so you just click on the download button and let your internet download manager pop up or if you have a browser then the download will begin automatically as I said before you have to click on start download and you can go to your task manager and set priority of internet download manager to high and you'll get a few uh, megabytes of boost I mean it will boost your internet download speed by a few megabytes or by a few hundred kilobytes now we have downloaded the first and second part and now we need the third part we have downloaded the first and second part now we need the third part so go to pokemoner.com and click on the third link from below and then it will take you to zip picture just like it did with the other parts and you can see the download now button is available now so you can click on it and then click on start download the download will begin soon after and this is just a 152 megabytes file so it will take uh, it will take less time than the other two parts because they were 500 megabytes and this is 150 megabytes so once you've downloaded all the parts go to the directory where the files are downloaded go to the folder where the downloads are located then click on the first part and click on extract files if you do not have WinRAR then download it I'll give you the link in the description as well so as soon as you click on extract files on the first part the WinRAR window will pop up and it will extract all the three parts automatically this is just like extracting any normal compressed file or folder whatever so just wait for a few seconds and then it will automatically extract all the three parts for you and make them into one single folder and inside that single folder we'll have our 3ds room that we need in order to run our Poke detective pikachu game and this may take up to a few minutes or a few seconds if you have a slow i mean trash pc just like mine but if you have a strong pc the winrar extraction process will be a little far faster so wait for a few seconds and as soon as the extraction is completed you go to the uh, the extracted single uh, folder and inside that as I told you before we'll have our valuable extracted this room 
so double click on the folder and you can see the 3ds rom that's the important file that we need and now we need sidepro emulator to emulate the 3ds file that we have downloaded so go to the sidepro emu.org or sidepro web page and if you scroll down you'll see the updated updates on sidepro that the q2 report and patron and etc but now we have to download it so click on download for windows and it will take you to this web page and if you have not downloaded Citra before you should click on download for windows x64 but like me i have downloaded Citra many times before and i need one updated version so i can run games more smoothly and that's why i'm going to click on the manual download and if you are basically if you are a beginner and you are downloading Citra for the first time you should be click on, clicking on the download windows x64 one and it will show something like that but now we are gonna click on manual download and i prefer the canary build over the native build because it has more advanced features and it is way more faster than the nightly build so just click on the windows icon from the download like text from below the download text and beside the penguin logo and then go to the folder where it is downloaded and right click and extract files or extract here just like you did before and it will extract the emulator now you have to open the emulator file and you can see cypherqd.exe so you have to double click on it and the site emulator will pop up until the final build is released it will still have a few bugs and stuff but don't worry this version is very stable and it will run on literally any pc or laptop you have so if you have a laptop you must set your battery performance to high performance and see i press pokemon alpha sapphire and that's it it is already in the like basically in like in the title screen or whatever it is called but what you're gonna do is load file and then go to the directory where detective pikachu was for me it was in a folder named detective pikachu then open the detective pikachu folder and double click on the 3ds file and even allow access to the firewall or whatever so it will start running detective pikachu yeah detective pikachu is now running you can see you can see the fps or speed uh, in the uh, whatever it is called bar or something you can see the game has now begun and yes we're gonna play in English of course so you're gonna click yes and if you have any trouble figuring out the controls so you can do a single thing you can go to emul emulation go and click on configure and then go down to controls and you can see here you can configure the controls and like uh, manually set them to whatever is compatible here this is already set up for me and you can change it just go to emulation and configure and then controls and then you can click ok 